Hello again. So for uh, PHPR uh, 3010 at University of Toledo, this is fall 2021. Uh, we're going to go through the second problem uh, in, on page 15 from Ansel's. The ones that you were assigned were um, D and E. So the problem reads, round each of the following two, three significant figures, and there are five below. So let's first define what are our significant figures. There is the rule of zeros. So there is uh, um, 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 uh, between behind and before. So uh, the ones, be the zeros between figures, so like let's say it's like this, this would be a significant figure. So yes, the ones behind a number, um, maybe. And then the ones, the zeros before something, they are not significant figures. So between, behind, before. So those are the three Bs. Um, so the behind one depends. It Does it have a decimal or does it not have a decimal? And that's the shorthand for with and without. So with a decimal, uh, yes, that indicates that that was measured to the precise amount. And so those are four numbers behind. So like, let's say hypothetically, those numbers would be significant figures behind the decimal point. These ones before it, these figures here would not. So to clarify that, so if I had a number like that, the one, these two zeros would definitely be um, significant figures for sure. Now, here's one with a zero behind the first number, but it's maybe. So in this book, these are all significant figures. All those zeros leading, they are from Ansel's book. However, sometimes some people will measure, let's say 10,000. They just go, well, uh, it was about 10,000. That's not precise. And sometimes in science, the way that they signify that, they will put a bar above or below the number that is significant but not usually. This is highly unusual. But for the purposes of this book, all of those would be significant. However, double check with your professor, I don't know. Um, but for the purposes of this book, it is. So we have defined our significant figures. Now we're going to define rounding. So rounding if it is five plus, you go up. If it's four and below, it's just the same for the number in front of it. So let's start with D. So how many significant figures are in this figure first? Well, there's no zeros, so we don't have to figure about all the rules of zeros. So there are five. And so we want to round to three. So these first, and then you look at that fourth one, is that five or above or below? So that is four, three is below four. So this number stays the same. So your answer would be 21.6. And then the next one, so there are zeros. So let's look at our rule of zeros. Are these uh, before, between, or behind? Well, these are before these numbers. So 
these are not significant. So you only have three numbers, and since it says round to three, you don't need to do anything except put it back down. Okay, so now let's go to the first one. So this one has four figures. There's no zeros. You don't have to look at it. So now you're just rounding. So you have your three, and then you have that last one. Well, that last one is a five, so you add and bump it up to that one. So it would be 32.8. And then this next one is, does it have any zeros? Yes, it does. But are those between? So yes, those are significant figures. So 200. And then is this uh, above 5? No, it is below 5. So there's nothing there. I don't know why I put a decimal point, but normally I would put a decimal point just to show that those are significant. You don't want to put another zero because then that'll be another significant figure. But you can put a decimal point to signify that that is, in fact, um, there. All right. So we have zeros here. Let's look at our rule of zeros. Where are these? Are these before? Between, behind, these are before. So these are not significant figures, but there are four figures afterwards. So uh, there are four sig figs, but so that is 0.036. Oh, now we have a nine on that last one, and that is above five. So this gets bumped up, and that is your last answer to that.